The reason for the excitement is all because of a discovery made in Munich. Here, a group working with the European Space Observatory had shared credit for discovering the black hole at the heart of the Milky Way. In late 2011, they made an almost accidental discovery. A discovery that's triggered this year's rush of excitement. It was while reviewing some data which had previously been dismissed as second-rate that they noticed something unusual. We decided in 2011 we should look at our uh, data, which is B-rated, so to say, data, which is of somewhat lower quality because the resolution is not as good as you would get it under the best weather conditions. And then, boom, there was all of a sudden one source which was very close to the black hole. The object didn't appear to have the profile of a star. Instead, it seemed to be a gas cloud moving at huge speeds right in the direction of the black hole. But what really rang alarm bells was the way it had changed shape. We see that this gas cloud, as it moves closer and closer to the black hole, is getting spaghettified, like you see it in, in school books, uh, according to the tidal shear, as we say, the tidal disruption by the black hole was moving quite fast, and it's not moving in a straight line, but it's a curved line. And that's a very, very bad sign, because it tells you, well, there's something acting on it. It's, it tells you, wow, gravity is pulling on that object. It's pretty much directly head-on moving towards the, the center of gravity, the black hole. The team's observations suggest the object is a gas cloud, around three times the mass of the Earth. It seems they had discovered what is the great holy grail for black hole scientists. It almost goes straight in. Who aims that well, we don't know. It's, it's remarkable. It's almost straight in. Uh, not quite, but pretty much. And so that means it will go deep, deep into the central potential and therefore be sort of a, if you like, a test, a test particle for us to probe the environment of the black hole. <laughs> 